Good morning. Welcome to a random stitcher. Uh, welcome to my very first flush tube. I am a random stitcher and my name is Lone. I'm from Denmark. So I have been thinking about how to approach this, um, how I want to do these flush tubes. Uh, it is once a week and I think I'm going to do what I have done before on Diamond Painting Madness. Um, uh, yeah, with the wheel. <laughs> I have been using the wheel uh, sometimes and I quite like it. Uh, it's exciting. You never know what it's going to be. So uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do here every week, I think. So on my wheel, I have six slices, you can say. And I'm going to go over them and um, show you uh, which project they are. They are all cross stitch. There are um, three stand cross stitch here, and there are three counted. I have a, a project called Cat City, and then there's Dream City that is uh, counted. Beloved, that's a heaven and earth uh, project, and there's Best Friends, that's a, a stamp cross stitch from VIP cross stitch, I think it is, and then there is. I call it Butterfly, and it's a uh, Counted from Etsy. Then there is a uh, Red Puppy, that's a VIP cross stitch, stamp cross stitch. So let's start with Cat City. When we have uh, gone through those, I will uh, spin the wheel and let's see what the uh, wheel chooses to work on today. The last week I have been stitching on Cat City. This is a project that um, I started, I bought last year. I have written something here. I started it, yeah, I bought it a month, uh, one year ago, <laughs> then, uh, uh, October 19th. And I started it uh, November 5th last year. And yeah, um, I didn't, I didn't do much at that time because I was really involved with some diamond painting, so I didn't do much at the time. And then the Christmas was over and, you know, it's a Christmas motif, so I kind of put it away. And a couple of months ago, my um, my granddaughter, Anna, she's seven years old, she, um, she found it and she was just, uh, oh, I really love that. <laughs> there are cats on. Do I have to say more? <laughs> <laughs> so she asked if I could do it for her for Christmas. So I did uh, start this, and this is where I am at. Um, I have done when I started. I was up here, and I only did a little bit. Uh, I, I think a little bit blue of the sky, and maybe a little bit of the roof. Um, then I think I picked it up two weeks ago or something, and I have done down here and up here and now I am at the Christmas tree so yeah it's a nice and easy project 14 count uh, there's really not nothing uh, not much to it it's a nice easy one so the only trouble I, I have is my eyes seeing the small symbols <laughs> So, but I really love it. I, th I think it's very great. When you think about it, it's from AliExpress and I paid around five or six dollars for it. I think it's great. So, yeah. Um, uh, as I said, I did this, uh, I have been stitching on this a couple of weeks. So if the wheel will land on this, uh, I will spin again because I want to start a new one. <laughs> Take another one up. So next thing on the wheel is uh, Dream City. Dream City is a counter one I got from AliExpress. So Dream City is also a small one. Is there something? Yeah, I only, only have stitches. Um, it is 125 by 63 stitches. So, and there are uh, 19 colors in this one. 
And this is how far I am now. So what I need now, I finished last time I, I stitched on it, I finished uh, here. And there's some writing in it, the words, it says, Viva la vida. So that is um, long live life, I guess, I think. Yeah, so it's a lady and down here there will be more um, something to stitch here. But I am, yeah, I am fine. I'm not, uh, I don't need much to finish. So it's just a matter of doing it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a pattern, paper pattern. So next, um, the next slice is Beloved. Uh, Beloved is long story, really. <laughs> Something my, it is a heaven and earth project uh, pattern. Uh, my daughter really wanted it. She showed me this early this year and um, I got it. I bought it and I bought the threads and um, kind of started it, but... Um, I started it on 18 count and that's so small. I was just shocked how small it was. <laughs> I did it because then the picture would not be that big to hang on her wall. Um, but uh, I only did a little bit and then I kind of dropped it again. But now I am, I'm just kind of, kind of, I really want to do it. So mini beloved. It's cold. And yeah, as you can see, monochrome is uh, black, white, gray. So quite a challenge. So if I, if the wheel lands on that, I am going to um, start it from scratch because I want to do it on 14 count. 18 count is just too small. <laughs> I do have 14 count uh, Aida lying around. So it is a pattern. The chart size is... Um, 248 by 325 uh, stitches uh, and there's 23 colors so yeah um, it's a big one <laughs> but it's beautiful very beautiful I would love to surprise my daughter with it maybe in a couple of years or so <laughs> yeah okay Next one, let's take out the wheel again. Uh, next one is Best Friends. Um, Best Friend is a uh, stamped cross stitch. I fell in love. I fell in love with it because I. It reminded me very much of my daughter when she was a child. Um, she often was on vacation at um, her grandparents, and they had a farm and. I have watched her sit so many times with cats and dogs on her lap and goats and <laughs> animals. So really lovely. My only concern is that um, it is 11 count. There was only 11 count that was available and I was just very much in love with that uh, image. So I do have a concern with it because um, I don't know how. There's not many, many colors. And there's only... 25 colors. That's not a lot. But I started up here. Up here is a kind of, I think it's cher cherry maybe, tree, something, bushes, <laughs> pink flowers. And it is this part up here. So I am, I don't know. I don't know. It is blurry, you know, so what I'm going to do is if the wheels, when the wheels pick this, I'm going to start on the face here because uh, if the face turns out all right, then I'll continue. And if, if not, I drop it because, yeah, it's 40 by 50 and uh, there will be a lot of stitching if it's, if it's, not turning out great so yeah that's the plan uh, it has been a while since i have worked on it uh, last because i was just i kind of there's a lot of confetti <laughs> a 
blood or confetti. You know, constantly changing color. And, or if you're not changing color, then you're really traveling far down. So, yeah. That was that. I don't really want to see how the face is because if this turns out decent, I'm going to finish it. Next on the list is uh, Butterfly. Uh, this is not something I'm going to do every time because uh, it's just the first one. It's my first um, flush tube. So I just wanted to, uh, to fill you in what's in my wheel. Um, maybe if I change something, maybe for next month, I may change some of the uh, projects in the wheel. One of the slices or two of the slices I may change because maybe there yeah, it is October, so maybe there will be some Halloween or something put in. And of course, then I will show you that. But um, it's just first time going through it, so you can see what I am doing. <laughs> yeah, the next one is Butterfly, and that is also uh, accounted. And I have it on my pattern keeper. I have not started it yet. Here it is. I'm really in love with the colors. There's not a lot of colors. Uh, let us see. There's 14 colors and it is um, the size is 150 um, stitches by 150 stitches. That is chart size and I think it is a little bit lower than that. Maybe 130 by 150. So yeah, uh, I'm going to do it on 14 count I think. I had thought about 11 counts, so maybe I'd choose that. I'm not sure yet. Uh, and I haven't found the thread yet. The thread yet. I haven't found the floss yet for it. So uh, if the weird chooses that, we're going to look for floss. <laughs> okay, next one on the wheel is... Um, I, it's the last one, Red Puppy. Uh, Red Puppy is also a stamp cross stitch I got from VAP Cross Stitch. And it is this one. It is uh, 33 by 33 centimeters and it is 14 count. And let's see how far I am. This one I had for quite some time. I started it April 1st, but I haven't been doing, I haven't been stitching on it very much. But I did do something. I have done this. This area here, and a little bit, over here also, a little bit over here also. Sometimes easier to see on the back side, <laughs> you can't show it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, in here there's going to be some beads, I have the, there's three beads, and I have never been um, trying to sew in beads, so that's interesting. There's not a lot of colors, I think. 14 colors. So, and that is uh, 14 count is, that is really an easy stitching. Yes, uh, big, um, big areas, a lot of color blocking. So for a new start, that's uh, if you're not uh, used to very much cross stitching, that is perfect. Okay, so we have gone through them all. Ah, let's see what the wheel says. <laughs> oh, okay, spin. And as I said, if it lands on Cat City, I'm going to spin again. Here's the wheel. Cat City, going to spin it again. Beloved, <laughs> I kind of was hoping it was not land on that because my very first flush tube and starting a new project, starting over. But yeah, beloved, it is. Okay, so I will set up. Yeah, I'll be back in a split second. So. I got my fabric, I got my thread, 
like a passing keeper ready. Let's do some stitching. I rearranged all my thread to be in this kind of a plastic thread organizer I got recently. So and, and I had some stickers to the DMC color code and I got two because there's 23 and there's 20 slots so I can say in every piece here. So 414. There we are on this side. So I am taking one strand out. I realize this is perhaps not the most interesting thing for you to look at. And uh, here the first, I'm, I don't, I'm not sure I'm selling this <laughs> floss too very good because I'm starting with this project, but whatever. <laughs> One must do what the wheel says, right? That's the conditions I have to, to work with. So, see if I can uh, thread my needle here. Not for sure, because sometimes I use needle threader, sometimes I just do it like this. So, let's see. We can follow the chart. Putting down the very first stitch. Um, I have been doing cross stitch for about a year and I am getting better, I think. I think everybody that is uh, starting from new is um, yeah, having some trouble with perhaps tension. I know I did very much. I struggled with uh, um, tightening too hard, so yeah. So now I'm going all the way to that line here. But I think it's um, getting better and better, and so now I'm I'm comfortable and confident that I can stitch this in hand. So I was calculating. When I was cutting this fabric, I was calculating how big um, I should cut it. And I ended up with um, um, 69, what was it? Mm. No, I cannot remember. I think it was... 69 by 80 something so yeah i can safely say this is by far the biggest i have ever been cross stitching on my biggest project ever and i have something in best friends that is 40 by 50 but it's 11 count so really don't count i am trying to go square by square but i don't know if that's the right way to do it because yeah it is my first heaven and earth project. Uh, I have never ever done something like this. And um, so I haven't found the best way for me to do it yet. I have done mostly either small counted cross stitch or stamped. And stamped, well, I just uh, go, you know, all over the place really. When I feel like changing colors, I can easily do it because then I can just come back uh, and do another color and, yeah, don't have to count my way. So now I'm doing two down here. So, yeah, the channel name, I just um, want to talk a little bit about that. I am jumping one. I really think thought up hard and long about it and I couldn't decide on a name uh, I was writing down many suggestions uh, I thought about something a little bit more cute you know one of the first one I um, yeah one of the crosses I have done that has uh, been <laughs> been in my um, rotation a lot and I have been talking a lot about it and my other uh, my 
Dharma Painting channel. That is uh, one called uh, Birds and um, Blueberries. So I, my husband said, why don't you call it Birds and Blueberries? And I could do that. Uh, but it's just, I don't know. I may change the channel name. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I just, at some point I said, just call it something random. And, and so <laughs> that, that's what it just ended up with. Random, a random stitcher. So, but I'm not sure I'm going to keep that name. But, um, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe it's fine. I was also thinking about something a little bit more like my old channel because uh, Diamond Painting Madness is kind of my sister channel to this channel. But uh, so I was thinking about stitching madness, but yeah, I'm not sure. So, but I really want to get started. So. And I am aware that uh, this is perhaps the, not the most interesting um, piece to look at. I'm kind of struggling when I'm going this way. And it's so big that it's kind of hard to get behind it. I'm trying. I'm skipping. Kind of you. I'm not. Um, sometimes I mark up <clears throat> the finished stitches as I go. And sometimes I wait until I have done all the stitches in in that square. So it depends. So, yeah, once again, welcome, if you're still here, uh, welcome. I hope you will enjoy this channel. And also, I hope you had a nice weekend. Um, <clears throat> right now, I, I can't really remember what I did. <laughs> I know Saturday we were running. And my husband and I are part of our running uh, club. So um, we are both runners, but we have been away a couple of years because I got a new, uh, a new knee, total new, total knee replacement in 2020. So I haven't been able to run a couple of years, uh, but now I'm at it again. My, my husband kind of, um, um, yeah, did the same. He didn't have an operation, but he kind of just um, sp stopped running <laughs> maybe because I stopped and so now that one of us has been running for a couple of years so we're actually starting from scratch my husband has been running long distances I really don't have that long I was um, did have a, do have a couple of um, half marathons in my back so to speak but my husband has run ultra marathons and marathons and yeah <clears throat> but we are really starting from scratch again so we have just completed week five in our running school so i think it's going well i think it's it's hard <laughs> it's hard it's hard to start running again that's why if you are running never stop because it's hard to start again <laughs> Uh, I'm struggling with having it focused here, so I hope it's okay. You can see something. I'm having my ring light on, so. But you know, I really need some coffee, so I think I'm going to do that. Hang on. So let's see. I cannot remember what I was talking about, but yeah, running. We did that on Saturday. We ran four kilometers. And yesterday, I think it was kind of a relaxing day. I was preparing um, <clears throat> for... Oh, that's nonsense. Yeah, I'm preparing for uh, some new thing I'm starting on my diamond painting channel. Um 
every Tuesday I'm going to do the wheel and I have um, uh, decided on doing some bigger because I have some big big dumber paintings that I have never finished and I kind of gave up because I think it was just too too much for me uh, but um, I has decided to do the wheel thing and uh, work on one big canvas every week just like this with cross stitch because I like that way you pick out a project and you uh, you do that the whole week because that way you really can see progress I am <laughs> totally aware that the percentages I will <laughs> achieve on this beloved will be small <laughs> be zero point something and now I just can't seem to get that there so but still you get uh, you get a, a progress you can see and at the same time it's not going to be too too boring to work on the same thing all the time so you get to change it every week so every Monday I will change my cross stitch um, project and Tuesday I will change the diamond painting project. So that's nice. I, I think it's going to be nice. The cross stitch I have finished is um, mostly smaller ones. I haven't finished any big ones. So I'm really hoping for at least one finished full cross stitch finish this year. And I'm hoping for Cat City um, because my granddaughter really wanted it and I'm doing it for her so so hoping that I can finish this um, it's, yeah November the latest because I wanted to give it her give it to her to hang on her wall uh, December 1st so that it can hang on her wall through Christmas she's so crazy with cats <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm trying to concentrate and talking. <laughs> so, yeah, why did I start this channel? Yeah. Um, as I said in the intro, um, very first video I did on this channel, I have been doing crosses for some time and I have been um, doing it, doing videos on my diamond painting channel. But I just, as time goes, went by I kind of where am I oh, um, I kind of not felt comfortable with it on that channel because I think it's important that I don't know maybe, maybe it's not important but for me it was important that it was only diamond painting on that channel it got messed up in my head <laughs> so that's why I really want to show my uh, to show what I'm doing with cross stitch, and I also really want to share it with someone because I like that. I like to share, see what others are doing, and yeah, it's nice. So now I'm trying to get there. Okay, so I'm running out of thread. I think I'll stop here. So I kind of just made an L. <laughs> so now I'm going to do, 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 take number 451. And this is a brown one. Yeah. We do have a lot of those, so I think I'm going to take two strands out. This uh, this uh, thread floss uh, here, something I got from AliExpress. 
Uh, I found a seller that was highly rated and where I could order. I don't know what that's called, but you could order some the the number you chose. It was a fair price, and I am pleasantly surprised uh, with the, the quality. I think it's very soft and really um, shiny. So I like that. Okay, so it's almost like filling out <laughs> all these stitches here. So, let's start. Don't know. Yeah. This is my way of starting. I know there's a lot of different ways to get a thread started, but yeah. I'm just doing this because... I like it. <laughs> I like to do it this way. If it's the best way, I don't know. But I feel like it's um, securing the, the thread good. And again, sorry for my language. I am from Denmark and I do struggle sometimes with English. Do my best. So now we can cut that little tail. I kind of in a in a for some time I, I used that method where you have tail hanging, tiny tail hanging, and I was I got I was just no oh, I cannot do the tail thing. It drove me nuts to have those tail thingy hanging around. So I'm going to have to some do something with this big fabric. It's not easy to handle. Can you please tell me in the comment how you are doing it? Um, if you are doing a big project, how do you handle such a big fabric? I think it's hard. I think a lot of people are doing it in a in a hoop. And I kind of did that with my first attempt. Uh, also, but as I said, I like to sit in the couch, and I think it's kind of easier when you are sitting in the in the couch to just stitch by hand. Okay, at least I'm started now, that's nice. So I was wondering how long this should be, and uh, this flush tube, how long stitching, and I think my preferred length of um stitching the stitching itself 
is um, 20 minutes or something. Half an hour maybe. I know a lot of um, uh, cross stitches are doing uh, one hour, one whole hour. For me that's too long. Um, I never watched all of yeah, maybe um audiobook, maybe do that for an hour, <laughs> but uh, that's it. So I think half an hour could be fine. I'm so excited about how this will come out and how uh, how much. I need to stitch before you can see anything, before you can see it's kind of transforming into something you can recognize. Right now it's just gray and brown. Something stitches. I'm going down here, yeah. So I think I will do this row finish and then I will say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this stitching, stitch along in my first flush tube. Um, I will be back Monday again and to do another. If there's at some point will be some unboxing. I've been thinking about should I do it Monday also or should I pick another day and I think it will be an additional day uh, for that but I'm not sure yet so we'll see kind of see how that develop so that was um, what I stitched today and what does pets and keepers say 0.13% So we're getting there <laughs> Yeah, okay So thank you so much for joining me in my very first flash tube and uh, starting this uh, humongous project I think it's when I think about it it's quite fitting really I start this and I start flash tube two big projects <laughs> so yeah <laughs> i hope you will have a fantastic week um i will be back next monday uh, to show you how far i got with this beloved mini beloved from heaven and earth designs and to pick the next project so i hope you will have a fantastic week thank you so much for watching I will speak to you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye and happy stitching.